This is an ABP Life podcast. Your favorite tarot show is back. We are on Spiritology with me Sneha Jain from the Hope Tarot and we are going to know everything about your week, what you should do, what you should not do from 28th August to 3rd September. Let us see what is in store for you. Starting with the Aries like always, the Aries are feeling a little low but then the soulmate is coming to the rescue you're quite in love my aries this month i feel it's going to be amazing you are feeling drenched but love is the escape and it has been like that for some time now i feel that somebody can really an outsider can really pat your back and make you realize that you know okay love is all around and i'm i'm so grateful to have it so be grateful for these people who are there in your life because i am sure that they're going to escape you from major setbacks this week talking next about the taurus for a change taurus are romantic and for a change they are around the nature so you have to be someone who is going for a walk or you have to be somebody who is going to engage into na- nature related activities you can get a pet for yourself plant or go around the garden do some activities which are nature related and it will really allow a lot of mental and physical healing because i think you need it right now love is all around the corner of course you may experience and witness an amazing romantic partner who can come and knock your door this time the relationship may just sweeten up and you can have a lot of positivity from your loved one so i'm sure that the existence is now being more rooted for the taurus talking next about the gemini the gemini are quite much in, indulged in friends and love and they they don't know anything else they have no uh, connection to work and they are just ignoring it which is fine i think sometimes you kind of need a break after having a heavy period but i'm sure that uh, the friendship and the love and everything is going to make you very joyous and very happy this week so the gemini overall it looks like an amazing week and you should just have fun then talking next about the cancer the cancer are blessed but they are trusting the wrong people and they're not becoming spiritual but this is a time of sp- celebration so i think everything looks aligned for the cancer the only thing is that trusting the wrong people can uh, take a toll on you and your mental health of course but otherwise i think spiritually you are very growing you are tremendously um, you know having amazing energies and people are also you know around just looking at you and they're just uh, you know experiencing an amazing amazing person that you have so i am sure that it's a beautiful time cancerians talking next about the leos the leos are a little exhausted and they are um, holding grudges because people are causing you harm but at this time i would want you to be just chuck it off i want you to be serene i want you to be peaceful don't react to their reactions don't give them space to react because if you do that it's going to only harm you this is a good time for people who are planning for a baby or a conception for pregnant ladies it is a brilliant time and it is also a time where your children can make you very proud leos from the leos we now talk about the virgos the virgos are quite ind- indulged in work and they are very creative and they are flirtatious for a change but virgos i think the flirting is going in the right direction you you may just find new love so playfulness here playfulness there you're very playful and i think uh, it's going to bring to you the guy or the girl that you've been looking forward to so if you want to take a chance and talk to her or talk to him go take that chance this week talking next about the libras the libras are friendly positive meditative and powerful it is a power packed week specifically for people who are in the money business you can have a lot of money and property gain vehicle gain jewelry gain anything can happen this week because you are you know in an amazing amazing resources this is also a good week for you to travel if you want to but traveling related to work or out of out of the country traveling can lead to major uh, financial upliftments for you libras talking next about the scorpios the scorpios have an easy week i think you're just uh, chilling pilling and you're using your brain a lot less i feel that this week you need to really pay attention to the children because they can uh, fall sick or they need special care and attention from you they need your ears to listen and if there's anything inside like in any intuition telling you something it's very important for you to hear this also this week 
Then my Sagittarius are having an amazing week, but the people who are trying to lie to you, that you have to fix. I think people who are trying to lie to you, you already recognize them, but you should take measures to avoid them completely. Because if this week you entertain the negative, the negative will increase and you will get a whole boggle headed experience. So I want you to take, take it easy, you know, don't go around those people, avoid them as much as possible this week. And next we talk about the Capricorns. Capricorns are full in support and harmony, but the body is allowing a little bit of problems and that's something that needs attention. Everybody and everything is in quite much of support, but I think the body that needs help, that needs attention, that needs care. If you are taking any kind of addictives, please avoid it completely because um, the body is really um, you know you're prone to accidents you're prone to issues so it's important for you to just uh, hold on to those things then talking about the aquarius the aquarius are abundant you are getting into some new beginnings and the new, new beginnings are very peaceful and proud so you can have a new job you can have recognition you can have an award you can have a wedding so anything new anything good anything which has full support from everyone is coming across and you're extremely creative so this is a time of magnifying your creativity and your uh, compassion and i'm sure it's gonna bring you amazing times Lastly, but not the least, of course, talking about the Pisces, the Pisces, you are emerging, you are becoming better, but this is one day at a time. Don't overindulge, don't overdo things, because if you do that, you're going to have a lot of blame on your head, a lot of pressure on your head and a lot of brain fog. So I want you to learn patience, Pisces and it's important for you to just accept yourself the way you are and I'm sure moving forward is, is going to be great, okay? So I want you to move on from anything which was negative, anything which was harmful or anything which were causing you mental stresses. So until next time, this is me Sneha Jain. I will be back next week. Stay tuned on this amazing show Spiritology. Until next time with the weekly predictions, I'm signing off. Bye.